What's up, y'all? This your boy Trey Cheney, man. I'm reporting live again. I'm still in B-more. I just came from shooting the, uh, uh, well, a couple of my scenes that I have in the film Lost Paths 2, where I play a character by the name of Southeast Pete. Okay, now right now I had to switch up a little bit. I had on a white shirt earlier, a dob hat, and then I had on like a DC hat. But now, I told you I was a jack of all trades. So now where we at, I got the red hat on. This is usually when I go perform and when I go do music. You're seeing the music side of me right now. We're actually on our, on our way to the radio station 92Q in Baltimore. I gave my man AJ a call, told him I got records. He said, come do an interview for Flage, premiere your new record. I got, I got money in my wall. I got money in my wall, then I got Swish, then I got Make This Money, all three singles getting pushed out at the same time. My homeboy Gilly the Kid working on a little remix the Money in My Wall. My homeboy Meat Mills, one of the hottest cats, young dudes in Philly, working on a remix to Make This Money, but it's at 92Q Baltimore, they say they going crazy over Make This Money. It's on iTunes right now. We on our way to the radio station. So I need y'all to get busy, because I'm busy. That's why I don't got time for little silly little internet confrontations. I'm busy. Call at me in a minute. All right, on. Like yourself, all these people. Yeah, as y'all can see, man, this your boy Trey Chaney right here coming live and direct. It's the music, Trey Chaney, because I said I'm a jack of all trades. I do everything. You got books. Mm -hmm. You got music. You got acting. I want to do an interview just to discuss the music that's going on right now. And out of my studio, Five Drop Music, Don Cox, the producer, Jerron Stevenson, the writing team, JT Melody. Oh, no, man. I'm giving y'all... I, I had to do this because I, I, I just had to let the haters know that for real... I'm busy, and I don't have time. I mean, I, I love the I love the hate. I love the energy that y'all give me because y'all make me do stuff like this. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's positive. We're waiting for AJ right now. I'm signing off. I'll see y'all in the studio. Yeah. My father, like, just play stupid shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, they might combine the crash in in the white and like the white and yellow. Hey, babe. What's good? Hold on, I'm about to come over there with y'all. Okay. Y'all going y'all doing rap attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm about to come over. Okay. There. Hello. You getting all this? Yeah. yeah, man, you see how it go, man. Just, just be more 92 Q. Are we bumming us radio stations? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But my man AJ right here, by the way. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Hey, hey, what's the Twitter name? Um, 92 Q. Yeah. Do you know that young man? I can't remember the name. 92 Q Twitter. Or yeah, 92 Q Twitter. Nah. They don't got one. I mean, mine is mine is AJ Showtime. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying, go ahead, get comfortable, man. Grab a seat real, real quick. This is track two. I've been chilling, man. So you like make this money? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that joint. Cause when I heard, it, I was like, you the first one was good, but then I was like, hold up, make this money is, is, the, is, the, is the track that goes. <laughs> but do you think B more will be on this one? Because but how can we get that joint? You know, after this. Matter of hold up. Okay. Yeah, we need something. Matter of fact, that way I should just say everything we need to say. Yeah. Matter of fact, hold up. Won't you um come on this side of the corner? Me. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 You can move that chair too if you want. What? Like what do you mean? Move this up. Yeah, wherever. Nah, you, what? yeah, you good. Damn, man. Or can sit in it, might be. Yeah, that's a little better view. Uh, Alright, man. Yeah, you see how I go around 92 Q. Yeah. Matter of fact, where's the plug at? Where's the plug at? You know what I'm saying? Just in case. Child, keep this on charge. I'll be going. You got a plug in? Yeah. There's a plug, though. But you gotta reach. It's, it's, it's cool. I reach. You know what I'm saying? It's just straight underneath. That way you know where this joint ain't gonna go out. Do you wanna plug it now? Yeah, while we record. That's what I'm saying.
That's what I'm saying. Why so it won't? You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's the battery a little low. Yeah. All right. I'm showing the book. Put the book on there. Ain't get nothing. No can't put it to the book at all. Truth, you can't be Trey man. It's for my man AJ Rap Attack 92Q for looking out for me all these years before the wire, since the wire, now with the music. Now I got the book out, movies. We about to talk. We about to talk about a whole lot. No doubt, man. We about to get into it, man. It's your boy AJ, one half of the Rap Attack crew. Trey, you know what I'm saying? He's almost like a third family of the member for real, so you know we're about to get it in. This Rap Attack in the building, and you know we got a special guest. 410 represent. I gotta say what's up to my homeboy. He's almost like extended family for real. Trey, what's up, bro? What's up, man? It's your boy Trey Cheney in full effect. What up, AJ? How you been, man? Hey, man. Everything's good. But right now, it's all about you, mister. I'm working in so many different <laughs> markets, man. The book, the yeah. mixtape. Let's start with the single. What's going on with that? Oh, man. This single, man, is um, it's definitely a great single for me, man. It's called Make This Money. It's on iTunes right now. You know, it just represents... You know, people that's just on their grind, and I'm definitely somebody that's on this grind, man. So <laughs> this, I had to make a record such as Make This Money because it's an uplifting, motivational type record just for the world. Okay. Well, say no more, man. Enough talk. Let's get into it. Go ahead and introduce the joint on Rap Attack. Hey, B. Moore, 92Q Rap Attack. This your boy Trey Chaney, better known as Poop from The Wire, and I'm introducing my new banger for the street. Make this money Make produced this by Don Cox. Make Let's go. Grab the tag if you hip hop. This is your show. <clears throat> Bmore's 92Q.com. I'm a Ricky Smile. Hit a non stop game. You know what it is. Grab the tag for one half of the crew. Your boy AJ. Sitting down with Manny Trey Chain, aka Q from The Wire. Mr. Mixtape D, Mr. Book Guy, Mr. Movies. So let's get back into the movie game that you're doing the joint with. Um, my homeboy up in Philly, Meek Mills. And shout out to homeboy Charlie Mack, too, oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, man. So what's the name of this new movie that you're working on? The movie's called Streets. I play a character by the name of Troy. I'm like a kingpin, you know, over my little crew, man. And like you said, you got Meek Mills, one of the hottest cats in Philly, man. You got Gilly the King, you got Sparks. You got my man um, Chico uh, Benman from, uh, from Half and Half. And um, it's just a great cast, man. And like I said, I played the character Troy. I got my own little crew. Gilly the Kid is actually, he played my right hand man. And so just, you know, being around cats like Gilly and Sparks and um, Chico and Meek Mills, it's, it's been great, man. And I just got to give a special shout out to um, Charlie Mack, you know, because Charlie Mack, he's definitely a major player in Philly, all over the world. You know? Yes, you got a shout out to the man, man. You got to give a shout out <laughs> to my man, Charlie he's Mack. And, and Jamal Hill, you know, who's actually directing it. You know, these guys, been following my career like way before The Wire and to call me and say yo I wrote a part for you all I need you to do is come you know come deliver like like I always do man I well at least I try to I try my best to just come with 150% and that's what they gave me a chance to do. Okay. So you also got some other feature projects in the movie game too. Yeah. Right? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I got it joint, man. Big shout out to my homeboy from Building in the Films, man. David Man and Gold. Hood Norm is Day Day. Super my, Dave, I yeah, see you, bro. Dave. <laughs> my man Shay Evans, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we doing this joint Lost Patch 2. Because, you know, Lost Patch 1, they got like a, a major deal on the table. I wish I could let it go, you know what I'm saying? But we working on part two right now. It's in the making and Billionaire Films, man. And they're doing great things in the community, not just in, in the community of Baltimore, but just for the whole city, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man, we shooting this movie Lost Patch 2, and it's going great, you know, I've been shooting that along with shooting the movie Street, so I, it's just, man, I gotta stay busy, you feel me? I'm, I'm working on two scripts at the same time. you a marathon man for I gotta be, man, I got kids, man. <laughs> Uh, you know what it is, my whole boy Trey Cheney from The Wire, man, a.k.a. Pooties in the building, sitting down with us talking about Rap Attack. We talk about as many things, as many different endeavors, from the music to the film to all that beyond. And the homeboy's even got a nice pen game with the book. So let's talk yeah. about your book, man. Yeah, the book, man, The Truth You Can't Be Trey, man. It's about my life, how I came into the entertainment business. It touches on, you know, the first season only of The Wire. But in between that, you know, growing up in, in Fallsville, Maryland, Washington, D.C., it was it was kind of rough just going through peer pressure and different things like that. And I wanted to just write the book to inspire individuals around the world, um, such as young people and adults, to, like, strive for their dreams. It, it goes back to even when I was eight years old at the Apollo. I remember being backstage with Big Daddy Kane. Puff was running around with business cards. I was eight years old experiencing all that. And, um, you know, it, it talks about that. It graduates into when I 
wanted to try my hand in, in acting. Because I started off as an R&B and hip-hop dancer. But then I made my way to the whole acting thing. And the Wire was my first television acting gig ever. That was like my first or second audition ever. And once I got casted, you know, the rest is it, kind of like been history. It's allowed me to, um, you know, take on new and better roles. And now, you know, I'm doing music now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, oh, poop from the Y, you doing music. And I'm really doing music. I'm not taking it for a joke, man. I got got records. We got the mixtape coming out August. Least expected. That's yeah. the name of it. Because, you know, one thing about me, I put a whole 150% into whatever I do. And, um... That's where I'm at with it, man. Okay. Now, like I said, like you said earlier, a lot of actors have made the transition from doing the TV shows, the movies, and then going from film to even going like back into music. Yeah. What do you feel that you bring in different that a lot of cats don't have in the streets right now? Um, man, to me, man, it's um, it's substance. It's um, just giving music a whole different outlook, trying a lot of new sounds, and and really speaking from my heart, you know. Usually I hear a lot of artists sometimes say, like when they first come out, you know, and they do interviews, they like, or, or their second album or something, they'd be like, well, this album, the second album is the album that I'm, I'm really expressing my true life and my true feelings. But, you know, this mixtape slash album for me is like a, um, it's just what I go through in my everyday life, man. You know, I mean, it, it talks about, you know, how, how rough it was after the first couple of seasons of The Wire, you know, how, how rough it was to like really get work here and there and you know all the hustle and the grind of it you know what i'm saying so that's kind of like what my album is going to touch on it's just different situations that occur in my life and stuff that people can really relate to not just hood dudes you know what i'm saying not just not just women not just fellas but just a, a whole over worldwide type type exposure you know what i'm saying do you feel like I said for the whole maryland movement the whole baltimore movement even the dmv movement you got cats like Phil Ide, you got cats like Wale, yeah. Kingpin Slim, you know what I'm saying? My homies. The, yeah. not, the name goes on and on, shout out to Be Easy T. Yeah. Do you feel that now is the time for the whole area now that's getting this just dudes recognized time? Or do you feel like it still needs a little bit more push to go? Well, well to be honest, man, it's, it's kind of like been that time for us. You know, I mean, like some of the cats that you named, Phil Ide, Wale, and I mean, even my man, you know, uh, Mully Man, Boss Man, all these cats, man, out here, they, they've really been putting in a whole lot of work. And now we have come to the conclusion where we're not waiting for, you know, no label. I mean, all of this is financed out of our own pockets. You know, these cats can relate to what I'm saying. I mean, you know, everything, like even with my stuff, my music, my book, all that, all, I got my own studio, own production, own company, all that. You know what I'm saying? So I think with us taking it upon ourselves, like you might have heard some success stories of people like Master P and cats like 50 Cent who sold their stuff on the street you know what I'm saying I mean that's kind of like where we at now and um we just turning that into like corporate you know what I'm saying it's yeah. like corporate companies out here within these MCs okay well say no more man you know whenever you come through Rap Attack is always your home man yeah so like I so said once again Trey thanks for coming through you know what it is once again let them know about their mixtape let them know about that movie yeah. and where they want to get in contact with you where they can they find you Yo, check it out. Y'all can definitely find me on Twitter.com slash Trey Chaney, correct spelling, T-R-A-Y-C-H-A-N-E-Y. And, of course, I mean, if y'all Google Trey Chaney, my Facebook page comes up. And um, like AJ was saying, man, I got the whole movement with my mixtape, Least Expected. You know, you got the album that's going to follow that jack of all trades. Uh, we, we just got my production company, Fire Drop Music, man. We, we doing some great things, you know what I'm saying? And um, even with the movie game, it's... It's just a whole lot, man. Amazon.com. My book is on Amazon.com, The Truth You Can't Betray. And then I'll be running around here. Y'all might catch me running up in a salon or a barbershop or the mall with a backpack full of books getting money. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Y'all, man, definitely just, just look out for me because I got a whole lot of stuff in store, man. All right. That's what it is. Rap Attack, you know what it is. If you're hip-hop, this is your show. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh, you chilling with my man, AJ, what is it, AJ, right? AJ. No, it's AJ. AJ Showtime yeah. on that Twitter. With Trey Chaney, Booby28, Deuce Double, walking on 92Q. I tried to get 92Q Twitter name, but I couldn't get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So what are y'all thoughts on the two after this, man? Another movie set. I just came from shooting my little party on Day Day in the joint, Billionaire Films. Yeah, shout out to Billionaire Films. They, they got the DMV. They got that.
Yeah. We done met you, man, Kevin, a couple times fucking with them kids uh, product. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was this tall. <laughs> I didn't know he was that skinny, though. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the height. That man was got skinny. Well, he used to be bigger. Thank y'all. All right. Hey, thank you. Thank you, boy. Okay. You walking out? Get that man's little view. You know what I'm saying? I'll catch you right now, walking out 92 Q, man. Just so y'all know, you know what I'm saying? It's not a game. We're not just saying that it's 92 Q. Oh, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? They know, they this know. is in real life, like y'all say on Twitter. They know with me this ain't no game. They, they know with me it ain't a game. I do this. Like, I, I've been doing hey, this. Hey, yeah, put your arm around that. that, that them niggas, niggas grew up. This I, is PG, DC, yeah, Baltimore, yeah, VA, DMV. We've been all day, here. All day. You know I've been mean? doing this since I was eight years they old. They just see the HBO shit, you know what I'm saying? That's all they said. That's all they ever seen. Should I give him an exclusive I don't know, man. I, th I think you should let him hear that swoosh while we ride and while, and while we, while we, you know, you I know don't know. What? Hey. We gonna do the cop. We gonna do the while in the, the cop. We gonna do the in the cop video right now. <laughs> 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 you let the swoosh go. No bullshit. Oh, switch. We gonna do the in the cop, y'all, nigga. Hey, y'all can go ahead and hit the. Uh, y'all can cut me for now, cause I'm gonna get in the car and do switch. <laughs>